peaches, what's up? So today I'm going to be doing this makeup look for you guys. I'm just focused on eyes in this tutorial, although I do think that my brows look pretty on fleek. If you guys want a new tutorial on how I fill in my brows, just give this video a thumbs up so I know. I'm going to be using my 350 matte palette from Morphe. So in my giveaway that I'm hosting currently for 1,000 subscribers, which that video will be somewhere either in this video or down below. In that one, I include the 350 palette just um, like plain 350. So that has matte and shimmer colors in it, whereas the one I'm using today is just the plain matte one, but I still think it's going to be easy to use that to recreate this look. Throughout this video, my nose continuously gets drier and drier. I don't know why, so if my makeup looks patchy on it, I'm so sorry about that. I don't know what is happening. I exfoliated today and like moisturized really good and it still looks like that. So yeah, I'm going to have all the products that I use listed down below on my face and everything if you guys are interested. If you're new, welcome to my channel and thank you for checking me out. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out so you don't miss any of my new videos. And let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm going to start zoomed really close in and my hair is crazy, so don't let it scare you guys. Okay, let's get started. <music> So starting off, I have already primed my eye with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So the first color I'm going to go in with is going to be from my 35O Matte Palette. So this isn't the exact one I'm including for my giveaway. It's just the all matte version, but I still think that you guys are going to be able to pretty much recreate this look. So this first color here is like a tan, just really good transition color. This is one of my favorite colors ever to use. I pretty much use it every single day in my looks. And I'm just using the fluffy Morphe brush, the one that I said is kind of comparable to the Sigma. I'm just going to start putting that in my crease here. Something important that I'm doing, I have a little mirror here, but I'm keeping my eye open when I'm putting this color on. The reason I'm doing that is because I have hooded eyes, and especially for this kind of look, if I focus this too down into my crease or if I close my eyes to do it, by the time I open them, all that color has disappeared. So this is going to show me really, really well where that color actually is when I have my eyes open. Another thing I cannot stress enough is I have started holding my brush at the very end, which is something you're always supposed to do apparently, um, and it has made the biggest difference in my blending game. I don't feel like I have to go back as much and get as frustrated with colors being splotchy or um, patchy anywhere. This really makes a big difference if you're not using a ton of pressure. So then I'm just going to go back with that Sigma brush to kind of clean up the top line here. You're going to do this all throughout this to make sure that um, all of this is really blendy and just very smooth. So this next color that I'm showing you guys right now is just a darker brown color. It's still a very good transition color, I feel like, if you're doing kind of a darker eye um, look, but it is pretty basic also. Here's crazy. I'm just taking that on the same brush, and I'm really, really lightly kind of trying to get a floor plan for where this color needs to be in this look. So you can just see that little, little line that I did, and then now I'm going to go ahead and start adding a little bit more color there. I'm just focused on really, really blending that out, and making sure that everything is blending seamlessly. So now I'm just adding more of that brown color to kind of get the darkness that I need so that the red I'm going to use next can go on top of it and not look like a stark difference between the two. So I don't focus a lot of this on my outer corner right yet, and I'm not really focused on my lid as well because the color I'm going to put on over top of that kind of cleans everything up very nicely. So now I'm going to go in with this last color here. So this is more of a red shade. I really, really like this, and it's kind of more of a fall color, honestly, but... I just cannot help myself for some reason I have been really loving fall colors and have been excited to use them. I'm just going to go over the top and again I'm starting really really lightly with this color especially because this is um, a little harder to blend out than a brown would be because it is red obviously. And you're going to do basically the same thing, so you're just going to be blending a lot and adding a little bit more color wherever you feel like you need it. So now I'm just going to mix that brown that we used in the red to kind of go back into the crease and get these to match a little bit better. Okay, so I am liking how that is looking so far. So for my lid, I'm going to be using a ColourPop eyeshadow, and this is in um, Amaze. 
and this one just looks like this. Let me show you guys here. So pretty and shimmery, and I find that if I use this concealer brush, it does help a little bit to pick up that product because, as you guys know, these were designed to use with your fingers, and um, therefore it makes it a little bit more difficult to use your brush with them. Okay, so I'm going to start putting some of that on my actual lid here, and then I'm just going to use this brush to really clean up that line. Once I get that looking how I want to, I'm going to go back in with my finger to put a little bit more product down at at least the ball of my eye just because I feel like that helps kind of make that pop a little bit more. So now to clean up under my brow, I'm going to go in with this color that I'm going to show you guys here. And it's just the first one in this palette. So it's just basically white. It has a little bit of a cream color to it though. So it blends a little easier into other colors. And I'm just going to put that underneath my brow. So the last thing here is going to be eyeliner and then I'm going to go ahead and do my mascara on my upper lash and then do the rest of my face and show you guys everything finished. I'm going to be using the Infallible Black Buster Liquid Eyeliner. This is from L'Oreal and you guys know that I love this. It has a really, really thick applicator that I like. And I'm not doing a super thick line um, just because I do have so much going on and I kind of need my lid to stand out. So that is what we have so far. I'm going to go ahead and get my mascara on. I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation and then I'm going to be right back with you guys to show you everything finished. Okay, so this is the look completely finished. So the only other things that I did was go back underneath my eyes with some of the brown color that we use and then a little bit of mascara there. And then I just finished off my foundation and did my contour and blush. And for my lips, I used ColourPop's Cookie, which is a lippy stick. And then I used Vice, which is like a matte lip liquid lips gloss stick oh just in the middle that's been my favorite thing to do here recently so that is pretty much it for this look it's super simple and I've been loving wearing it sometimes I'll exchange the red for a different color but I think it's a beautiful thing to do just to have those two basic like transitions and then just a color on top again so easy to do with anything so I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial let me know what you want to see in my next video in my comments down below I will have every single thing that I used on my face in the description bar down below for some reason my nose like at the end is super dry today so if you guys can see that I'm sorry I don't know why it's doing that it's not even like dry weather out here but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and eat some pizza and have a little salad I hope that you guys have an awesome week. Don't forget to keep up with me on Instagram and Twitter. I am constantly talking to you guys through those. I'm still getting into Snapchat. I'm not so good about using Snapchat yet, but I do have it. And it will all be linked down below. And yeah, don't forget to check out my giveaway video if you guys haven't. I'll have that link down below as well. And I will see you guys on Friday. Bye.